everyone, welcome back to my aquarium. Today we have another episode of Soulstone Survivors. Pretty good progress here. Today we're going to be using the Spellblade, trying out the last level here. This guy has Slash, it makes people vulnerable, so they get, what is it? Next damage taken by 30%, also a 50% chance that only 25% of the vulnerable stacks will be consumed in the process. That sounds pretty darn good to me. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. Like I said, last level here, the Dungeon of Despair, uh, otherwise known as, you know, my brain. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop in. Slash these guys up. This seems like a pretty cool level. I'm wondering here, there's like three different spawn pads here, which is interesting. You see just the one? So I don't know what that's all about. I, You know, I think this game would be really cool with like some multiplayer aspects. Because, ooh, there's green ore. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, I don't know. I, I think it is very fun solo, obviously. I keep playing it, so <laughs> I, do, I do enjoy it solo. But it seems like a good game where you could really just like you know, have a bunch of people, because they have so many different characters already, and just slinging spells. Obviously, you'd have to do some kind of power scaling to where it'd still be reasonable to fight everything with multiple characters, multiple people on a team, um, but I think it could be really fun. These kind of games, hack and slash kind of games, you know, multiplayer ones, are always very, very fun. Something that I always liked to play when I was you know, younger with friends. Mostly because I don't have as much friends anymore, so why I wouldn't, but... <laughs> hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Turn these guys up pretty good. I don't really like these slash attacks as much, but this guy is called a spell sword, uh, I believe. And honestly, that's cut through pretty good. So, we should be able to get some pretty good just regular spells here, too. It looks like he has swing and thrust, are two of the ability types he can get. And then uh, after that, he had ice, electric, and fire, I want to say. So all the elemental types of, or shadow actually, I think it was. Maybe fire was in there too. Uh, we'll use our dash there. He has some extra movement speed, and then he's like a bit of a tanky boy as well, which I love to see. And honestly, dude, the music is bumping. Can I just say the music in this game is top tier? We'll go ahead and do our damage modifier already. So I was thinking, actually, this is good to have these two things as our first options, because I was thinking of going electric. I feel like we haven't really stuck electric too much as of yet. Um, this one... Thunderclap. I'll thunderclap them cheeks, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck them with thunder is what I'm saying. So we're just gonna grab that. Attack speed for slash. Multicast would be great. We're gonna go attack speed for slash, and then cast frequency of thunderclap would be great, I think. So let's see how that attacks. Ooh. Okay, we're hitting pretty, pretty hard on the boss there. If I can just... Well, not a boss, you know. The elite. Oh my god, thunderclap just... It actually did thunderclap his cheekies. I respect the hell out of that. I think we can get some good abilities here with the uh, thunder type stuff. Looks like this thunderclap is pretty close range. I'm going to try to pay attention. It's going to cast in the next few seconds here. Okay, so yes, it is directly in front of us, like right there. Uh, some area modifiers for that would probably be a really good idea. You know what I like about this game is these guys don't do damage on contact. What they do, the little goblins, they get up to you, and then they actually have to build up a slash and then hit you with that slash. So every enemy actually has to like charge up and attack. I appreciate that, because in other uh, bullet heavens, if you'd like to call them that, which I do, it's not like that. Usually it's just contact damage. So when something touches you, it's going to do some damage, you know? And that's fine, but I prefer it like this, where they actually kind of have to wind up that attack. They have to get within range of you, and then, on top of that, still use an attack on you. So you can actually maneuver around these enemies much easier in this game than other ones, because you have that leeway of... Okay, I can touch them for a second, and then I can kind of, you know, dash through them or whatever it may be, and not have to worry about that actual contact damage. I'm going to go ahead and spin our levels here before we fight the boss. Uh, any, no, no more electric as of right now, but honestly, I know Arcane Disc is amazing, so I am just going to grab that. I'm going to get the Experience Multiplier. Um, I think throwing some burn out there could be really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... Interesting. No more electric here yet, but Ice Vortex. We haven't seen this yet. Summon an Icy Vortex at a random enemy's position that lasts for three seconds, quickly applies slow, and then explodes, dealing 34 damage per stack of slow or paralysis. And we do have paralysis. Oh no, that's stun, not paralysis. Either way, I'll grab that. Area of effect for the Vortex? Sure. This is our last thing for now. And these two abilities are Slash, and our disc can get uh, some area modifiers, or we can get Bleed on critical strikes. I'm going to do that, actually. As much as I really do enjoy. Um, I already forgot one of the other options was there. The area modifier. I think that this will be a big good choice. 
Yeah, I have my own icy vortex, you know that, big boy? And you're standing right in it. Yeah, you know what? I think this is a good lesson anyways, just to learn to play a little closer to these bosses, because a lot of times I get kind of scared of them, and I kind of roam farther than I need to. So there was an update for this game um, yesterday, as of what I'm recording. Wow, I mean, look how fast we just burned him by actually just getting close and taking him out. Got hit there a little bit, but it's fine. Um, and the update was nothing content-wise, really. It was just optimization for the game, which is great. And they said in the next update, which they're looking to release in the next few weeks, mind you, the game is still in early access, of course, they are going to be looking at doing some actual big content releases. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. And honestly, I, there's so much content that I haven't even played through as of right now. So it's like, there's more content going to come out soon. And I haven't even gotten through all this. So I'm very excited to just kind of not plow through this, but, you know, spend my time, enjoy this. And then when new content is out, hey, that's just even more for me to actually get through and enjoy. Uh, especially earlier on, if I can unlock it, then as we go through the uh, kind of story they have set up here, that'll be nice. They're working on a lot of stuff for like an endless mode and sort of a uh, boss rush mode where you just fight a bunch of lords and it becomes more and more lords of the void until eventually you're only fighting lords of the void. And I was like, wow, that sounds pretty interesting. So we'll definitely try that stuff at some point in the future. But for now, I'm just kind of going through these different stages and enjoying them, unlocking everything I can character wise, ability wise, uh, and especially like we don't even have things like runes yet. I was thinking about just saving up for the rune unlock on the skill tree because it is 50 grand and I feel like we're making quite a bit now. I mean, look at the left, we're already at three grand. We've only killed one of the five lords. Um, but I don't know, part of me is like, maybe I should just get as much as I can with these soul stones first and then get the rune unlock after that, you know? And I think there's no wrong answer. I think there's just different answers as with most things in life. So we'll see what we do there. It sucks only having one dash again after <laughs> playing with the Sentinel last time and I had three dashes when we hit there a little bit. That's okay. Let's, uh, let's spend our levels. We do have 15 here as I'm yammering on. Holy swing, frontal, physical. So slow attack that strikes targets in a large area in the direction you are aiming. So this is basically just like strike maxed out. <laughs> Empower you and all nearby allies, causing the multi-cast modifier. That is a very good um, ability. We've had it before. Actually on our... No, like three runs ago I had it. And the Meteor, I know, is good as well. Burn, more stun, has area. This has three in common with that, and two in common with our electric ability. I'm going to go for the Heroic Strike, actually. Um, I'm going to go for the XP, of course. Let's grab the area modifier. And here is another Thunder ability, another electric ability, I should say. Calls down Thunder to strike a random enemy. Okay, so this is a random enemy. Also has Dazed and Stun. We'll go ahead and grab that to finish out our abilities. And if I get any more... Here we go, Thunder Strike. Area of effect for electric, that's what I'm talking about. See, none of these are electric. If I get any more electric abilities, I might swap something out. Uh, health is awesome. Multicast for heroic strike, yes please. Uh, cast frequency is great on this guy because he actually has slower cast frequency, minus 10% cast frequency compared to other people. Critical strikes have 100% chance of playing wound. And then the slash cast frequency, more health, yes please. Uh, no electric here. Titan's Cleaver could be good, but I kind of like our abilities. Unless we get an electric one, I like what we have here. <clears throat> Especially Ice Vortex, I think it'd be really good. I will get a little bit of movement speed. And then Heroic Strike buff or Arcane affects two abilities. And I will do those, actually. Alright. I think that is going to be some good stuff for us. It's always nice coming out of those, like, <clears throat> 15 level spent scenarios. And then suddenly you're just like you know, 15 times stronger. Whoa, imagine that. But you know what I mean. Like, you come out, and then suddenly you're crushing 10 times more than you were before, and it's just like, whoa. It's really in those big power-ups, I think, that are just more fun. Otherwise, you're doing them every level, every level, every level, and it's like, oh yeah, for sure, that's still fun. <clears throat> and you still notice when that new upgrade applies, but when you do it like this, you just get that huge boost, and it's just way more satisfying, in my opinion. I'm actually going to run around a little bit, because we're getting close to the next Lord, and I just want to get materials... So I'm just going to run around and look for some. To be honest with you, I'll throw some abilities behind us as we go here. Is this a new... Oh, there's a whole like, area down here. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go down here and check this out. The Dungeon of Despair. You know how it'd be. Alright, let's see. The Lord is going to spawn very soon. I think I'm going to draw that up here. Kind of near this health crystal. We'll fight him in this area. Uh, just a bigger open area than what we had down there. And then as well, if we need that health crystal, we can just walk down and grab it as well. There is one to our right, so that's nice to see too. 
Let's smack these elites down. There we go. Where is he? He's up top here. They also did make, like, the attacks. Um, how do I say this? That right there, the red thing that the boss is going to throw an attack. They made those more accurate to how the attack is actually going to go. Before, the ranges weren't exactly true all of the time for those attacks, and that's something I definitely noticed, and I actually called out a bit at certain points when I would have an attack uh, thrown at me. And I think especially with, like, Alexi... You no, know, the Flame Lord that we'll see at some point here soon. The Flame Lord does that, where he throws out the Flamethrower attack, and it will go across, like, half the map. But that's not what it shows when it's casting. When it's casting, it shows it's only going to go, you know, a certain distance. So I would go outside of that distance and be like, okay, I'm going to be fine when this actually starts casting. And then, no, it wasn't true. It actually started casting, and then it would have a longer distance than that. So I think they actually made that, as they said in the patch notes, accurate now to where it will always show the actual distance that those things are going to go. Man, that slow field is actually pretty fucking pogged. I enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, I will say, more of you have started coming and watching the second channel lately, so I really appreciate that, especially if you came from the main channel. If you if you did randomly just find this channel and started watching it, uh, I, uh, hello. <laughs> you probably are confused by sometimes when I'm talking about my main channel or whatnot. Um, but I'm assuming most of you found me through my main channel and then came here, but been gaining some subs and it's fun and been getting more views, especially on this little series. I've been having fun actually uploading here daily and just recording more for this channel. So thank you very much if you are watching on this channel. I really appreciate all the support and I'm excited to keep growing this up. I mean, about to hit 25 subs, which is pretty darn cool. That'll be a quarter of a hundred, obviously, you know. I know you can do math, but I just like to say it to myself because it makes me happy. Um, and I remember how happy I was when I hit 100 subs on my main channel, you know, over a year ago now. So, and I'm about to hit 3k there, which is amazing. So I'm excited to do the same thing here, you know, and get this channel and the partner program and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a fun time just doing that and especially doing that with, you know, a community that I've already built up and that really enjoys my content for me. <laughs> Because that's something you'll see a lot of people are like, I enjoy your content for you, you know, like, I'll watch. And I feel like a lot of people do say that, but then you do something like, you know, starting a second channel and barely anybody comes over and it's like, it's completely fine. I understand that for a plethora of reasons. There's only so much time in a day. There's only so much time you have to dedicate to watching certain things. So, you know, I hold literally zero resentment for anybody that doesn't come from my main channel to come and watch me because like, it's life. I would never hold somebody in blame or uh, any kind of content contempt for that you know but uh for the ones that do i truly do appreciate it because it's it's very very nice i have 16 levels as i'm yammering on here i didn't even realize that i just got you know to become like the thickest of the lads so i guess we will spend those really quick thrust frontal no 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 thank you um, Doom, I think Doom is amazing. I will grab a little bit of it. Everything with Swing, which is these two big boys, which I love these attacks. Multicast for everything with Frontal, which is four of our attacks, hell yes. Um, no thank you. Uh, Thunderstrike, yes, I think Thunderstrike is quite thick. Thunderclap is thick as well. Area for... what is that? That's our Ice. Okay, anything that does Ice, I am down for that, because I think the Ice ability here is actually, like, really good. Here's a new ability, too. I'm not going to grab it this time, but... Maybe in a future one. Thermal shock. Every time you apply a stack of burn, there's a 50% chance to apply slow. That sounds fun. Multicast for area, which is those two. Yes, please, dude. I can get multiple of those. Even more chance to cause a, uh, ooh, electric. It's electric. Doo -doo. You know, I do enjoy Arcane Disc. I'm kind of wondering if we might be better off with Lightning Bolt. Huh. Um. You know what? Let's do it. I do Arcane Disc a lot. Let's change things up a little bit. Is this... Is this aimed towards a random enemy? Okay, cool. I wanted something that was not aimed. 100% chance to deal critical strike with full health. Uh, just power is great. No, thank you. Seeing some new abilities here, though, is very cool. Um, yeah, give me multicast. Thunderstrike damage modifier. We're running out of abilities here, or uh, passives. Upgrades, I should say. Heroic Strike? Nope. Increase your critical damage. Yeah, yes, please. And here we go. 
Reduces all damage taken by two would be nice, but increases the damage modifier for Rogue Strike by 45%. Yes, please. All right, let's see how thick we just got. Holy hell, we just decimated an entire legion of people. Dodge out of that really quick. And it's actually easier to dodge when you're closer for a lot of these abilities. Uh, I guess the risk is just if you do get hit by it, then that's when stuff really starts to become a problem. But look at that. We just crushed him, dude. We're strong as hell. Look how much ice we're putting down there. Those are going crazy. How big is our heroic slash? Oh yeah, it's big. Multicasting too, it makes it crazy. Let's see if we can just decimate these guys. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, look how fast our guy is slashing, yeah. Yeah, so arcane disc I think is huge. It's really, really good. Oh my god, that ice explosion is insanely big. Um, and I would be fine keeping it. I've been using it a lot of runs lately is the reason, main reason that I did get rid of it. Um, the second main reason, of course, I told you I do want to go for an electric run here and just get as many electric abilities as I can. So I'm kind of committing to that a little bit. Oops, that's okay. Uh, so that's another thing. And then, yeah, that's uh, those are the main things there. Just try new stuff out. And that's what's interesting to me. It's like, because then if we do get a passive that's like buffs all electric type attacks, then obviously that's going to be really good when we have four electric attacks. I also wanted something that wasn't aimed by myself, since a lot of my stuff is already aimed by myself, including my slashes and my thunderclappage of cheeks. Um, I wanted to just go for another ability that aimed randomly, that went for a random enemy, and that's exactly what the thunder missile here does. So now if we can get a lot of multicast on it, I think that would be really good. And then cast frequency, obviously, as well. I keep running into these stupid kamikaze boys. These guys are the worst enemies. They do, like, no damage, and I have so much health, it's like, whatever. But they kind of push you a little bit, and they're just annoying and make me hate playing the game. Oh, they don't make me hate playing the game. I still love playing the game even when they hit me, but don't make... You listen to me talk, little guy? You just run in here listen to me talk? Yeah. God dang. Yeah, I just, like, we'll sit here. It's late at night. I get tired for a bit, and I'm like, ah, oh, but it's not bedtime yet. I shouldn't go to bed. You know, bedtime, like I'm five years old. But I think it's good as an adult to kind of set your own bedtime in a matter of speaking. Um, so I try to, but sometimes I try to get, or I start to get tired earlier than I know I would like to or prefer to go to sleep. Uh, so if that happens, then, okay, we're getting kind of messed up here. But honestly, these spiders are a big cause of that. Because they're putting webs down everywhere. Just trying to be careful. There we go. Alright. Y'all are kind of piecing me off, I'll be honest. There's enough health crystals around that we can heal up just fine. Look at the level 6 here, or I mean, 6 banked levels, I should say. And then we'll go ahead and spin, I think. Let's see. Damage modifier. I don't want to lose movement speed, so we will go block power. Uh, armor power? Sure. Damage of Thunderclap? Yes, sir. I will go Heroic Slash over Regular Slash. And then I will go Heroic Slash again. And then Area Modifier for everything. Okay. Heroic Slash is level 7 now. Oh my god, you see how big it is? Huge. Let's go, baby. Okay, see there's a spider web on the ground there. I just dashed through it because I didn't really want to get slowed. But it's not like a real spider web that you can step in. It's background spider web. Like it's part of the, uh, the ambiance. <laughs> It's part of the decoration of the map. Just like this one is in front of me. See, this isn't going to slow me. It's just decoration. Probably not the best thing to kind of decorate with if you're also going to have it be like something that enemies can place down for a status effect. You know what I mean? Like, if I was throwing fireballs at you, I wouldn't put a fireball on the wall as decoration or else you'd get kind of confused like which one was meant to kill you and which one was meant to look pretty. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm pretty good at interior decoration. Just put firewalls all over the walls, you know? Call them firewalls. You need to just keep some uh, fire extinguishers handy, but as long as you can do that, you're doing pretty good. There's something so just, I don't know, relaxing, yet you have to be so on top of your game when you play these games. Because if you do, like, glance away for a second, you can get really messed up really fast. You gotta pay attention. I enjoy that. But at the same time, it's kind of just, like, mindless a lot of the times. I like this game because the bosses actually have, you know, interesting, unique attack patterns. And I've said this before compared to the other 
uh, Bullet Heavens that I might have played that I love that about the bosses. And I do, especially because it takes you out of like the mundanity, the mindlessness of just grinding these regular enemies, which you do need to focus, because I mean, look how many abilities they're spamming out on me, you know, I still need to focus on these regular enemies, but compared to the boss, not as much, you know what I mean? Like when the boss comes, you better focus up, or they're gonna slap your cheek holes. And we're the ones doing the cheek slappage around here. That's why I got Thunderclap. So I can absolutely take these cheeks and meld them into 2,000 separate pieces. I mean, that's just... That's what we're going for here. You know, one of the things I hear most often, but just random comments, is that I have a very, like, ASMR voice. And I have very, just, like, soft-spoken and whatnot. But it's just, like, always... You, you always wonder, like, maybe I should start, like, an ASMR channel. I don't know. I don't care. If you do like ASMR, that's fine. I find it, um, not, like, cringy, but, like, it makes me cringe just because it's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, random person just whispering in your ears, and you find that relaxing? When I hear it myself, it's cringy. It's not cringy that other people enjoy it because everyone enjoys different stuff. It's just like cringy in my own ears. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. We won? My god. I don't know why I'm even using these. We already won. <laughs> oh my god. What did so much damage? Slash, yeah. Ice Vortex and Thunderstrike. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Heroic Strike was about to crack. One milli. That sucks because there's actually a bunch of achievements for finishing stuff in under 15 minutes. If I was able to go just a little faster, I would have got those done. But with a little more meta progression, we will, we will be able to get that stuff done. Uh, any new characters? Yes, the Paladin. I knew we were going to be able to unlock the Paladin. I was pretty sure. Oh, I don't have enough vile soul stones. That sucks. Okay, well, we will unlock him soon. Maybe next time I'll do one more uh, game with the Pyromancer and get to Prestige 10. Then we can get the new Fire Wand here, because that is something I want to do. And try the new ability, Firewall. Maybe some holy abilities? I feel like I haven't really used those. Alright, what do we got for meta progression here? You see what I mean? I'm at 23 grand, basically. Increase the runic power. See, uh, I don't know. Does that cost those? Might as well do that, right? But yeah, do these important ones. They just help you level up in-game. They're basically out anyways. Okay. Oh, hey, look, they changed the rune screen. It used to be, like, way condensed, and now it's, like, spread out here. That's a good update. So let me see this. I 100 percent did all these, didn't I? Shouldn't I be able to go to... Curses to... Oh, complete this map with four or more curse intensity to unlock this level. All oh, these are levels. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe we just go back to the Scorching Valley and we try to finish it in under 15 minutes next time. As well as using the Pyromancer to get them to prestige level 10. <clears throat> and I guess I could do some of these. I don't really know what these are for, so maybe we'll avoid them for just one more run. But, alright. Quite the success there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're really a like, comment, subscribe, or hit the notification bell so you can see more in the future. I really appreciate all that kind of stuff. And uh, just thank you guys so much. And as always, have a great day.